Welcome to this meditation track. I'm Laura from Law of Attraction Life Coaching, and I'm a qualified life coach, a lecturer, and an author. Please don't listen to this meditation track when you need concentration. It's not suitable for when using heavy machinery or driving. Take a deep breath in and begin to relax. All you need to do for the next few moments is just listen to my voice, focus on your breath, and as soon as you find your mind starting to wander, you bring it back, back to this present moment, back to my words, back to my voice, and back to your breath. Now take a deep breath in. And out. Take a deep breath in. And out. I want you to move your attention to your toes. What do your toes feel like? Are they warm or cold? Can you feel them? Take a deep breath in and out. Move your tension slowly up your calves. If you find a patch of tension or a, a, a small part of your body that has pain or stress within it, I'd like you to tense it for a couple of seconds and then release. Moving up through your calves, if you find any tension, Tense your muscles and release them. Moving up into your thighs, through your hips. Moving your attention into your stomach. And again, if you find any tension anywhere, tense those muscles as hard as you can till it feels uncomfortable. And then feel the joy of that tenseness, releasing as the muscle relaxes, as your body begins to calm, and breathe in deep and out, and moving up into your chest now, if you're feeling any pain anywhere, any tenseness, anything at all either at the front of your chest or into your back. Then take a deep breath in and tense those muscles and relax them again, feeling all that stiffness releasing from your body. And if you need to move your position, then move your position. Meditation is easy. You just have to find a way that works for you. So listen to my voice and follow it along. And we're moving up into the shoulders now and down your arms. Do you feel any tenseness, any tension, any muscle stiffness? Just tense that area and allow it to release. And as you release, remember that you're sending out anything that doesn't serve you. And you can start to feel the relaxation, the joy beginning to spread like warmth over your body, calmness spreading throughout your whole body. Moving up into your neck, if you feel any tenseness there, allow yourself to just roll your shoulders up and down and tense the muscles as you need to. Listen to your body, you're in command. Remember your mind is in command. If your body feels stiff somewhere, if it feels tense, you are able to relax that. And moving up to your face, if there's anywhere that feels tense or stressed, just tense your facial muscles and allow it to relax. And remember we're taking nice deep breaths throughout this whole process. And with every breath in, we are breathing in relaxation. 
And with every breath out, we are breathing out any stress, any concerns, any worries, any anxiety, anything that we don't want to take with us on our meditation. And take a deep breath in. And remember that the breath is the anchor to peace, to relaxation, to calming your mind, to feeling good. So always use the breath, always feel that the breath can help you, because it can and it will. So if you find your mind moving off or you suddenly realize you haven't heard anything I said for the last minute, just bring your mind back to the breath. In and out. In and out. Just focus on your breath. In and out. In and out. Now today we're going to call in your soulmate. This meditation is an energetic meditation to bring in the person that is right for you. Now soulmates are many different types of people and they come in many different shapes and sizes and forms. But today we're going to look to call in a romantic soulmate that will give you the love that you need, the love that you want, in a way that serves you. Take a deep breath in and out. I want you to imagine that you are standing at the bottom a mountain, this great mountain with a huge peak at the top, covered in snow, almost like a dusting of icing sugar, and this beautiful mountain that you're standing at the bottom of, you are going to climb. But this climb isn't going to be arduous or taxing on you because in the spirit realm, you can move as you like. Now we're gonna go up slowly because some of you haven't been in the spirit realm before and you're so used to moving with your slow human legs. So I want you to envision yourself at the bottom of this mountain and it's 10,000 feet tall. It's huge. You can barely imagine that you could climb to the top. But with every second, you're going to glide 1,000 feet with the grace and ease as if you were taking a jump, just a little jump in your human body. And I'm gonna to count to 10. And with each second that goes by, each count, you're going to glide up that mountain with great, long, beautiful steps. Each step, jumping 10,000 feet, so gracefully as if you were a pebble skimming across the lake. Now breathe in and out. And we are 10,000 feet from the bottom and you're going to take your first jump 1,000 feet all the way up. And 9,000 feet is left until you reach the apex of this mountain. And you jump again to 8,000 feet. And you are 
so smooth with each step and you jump so far but your soul is used to it your human self is a little inhuman and seven thousand feet left until you reach the top each jump becoming easier and easier and six thousand feet Five thousand feet each time. This great leap, bounding, your spirit moving fast up this mountain side, like magic. And you're halfway there now. And with every thousand feet that you jump up this mountain, you're becoming more and more calm and more and more based into your spirit self, into your soul. And we have four thousand feet left to jump. See yourself, envisage your legs bounding up this mountain like one great leap, like an astronaut on the moon. The gravity no longer defying your human body, for you are in your spirit self now. And 3,000 feet until you reach the top of this beautiful mountain with snow capping it. And it doesn't matter because your soul does not feel the cold. Your soul does not experience the same things as what your human body does. And take another leap, just 2,000 feet, until you get the top. 1,000 feet. And once more. And there you are. Your feet touch the top, the absolute precipice of this beautiful beautiful mountain and you look out across the clouds and you are standing on top of the world you are on top of everything that ever is everything that ever was and everything that ever will be and your spirit, your soul, is standing looking out across everything. And I want you to take a deep breath in and experience the beauty of this. You can see the low-lying clouds below you, so fluffy. You feel like you could jump onto them and they would catch you like pillows. And you do not feel scared or worried or anything. You are at home here. You've been here before. Your soul recognizes this great place. And here is where you are going to say your message for the whole universe, for the whole world to hear. Are you ready? I want you to take a deep breath in and out. And I want you to feel what it's like to be loved. Remember all your best experiences of love and feel those things inside of your heart now. Encapsulate the feeling of love. And I'd like you to imagine taking your hands and cupping them over your mouth and I'd like you, in your spirit body, to call out to the universe now. And I'd like you to say, I am here. I am ready. I am calling in my soulmate the one 
who brings me love recognizes me spiritually and gives me those things that fulfill me. I am calling in my soulmate. And I want you to imagine cupping your hands over your mouth and shouting this message so loudly you can hear it ricochet and echo back to you in all corners of the universe. I am calling in my soulmate. And I want you to say it. Keep repeating it. Envision yourself calling it out to the whole universe with true conviction. Feel that feeling of love and recognize that you are calling in your soulmate, that you are, you are powerful and you are putting out the call to the universe for your soulmate. And just take a moment and I want you to call it out. Call it out as many times as you like. for you to come back down from that mountain and step back into your earthly body. But don't worry, the message has been heard. The message has been heard across the universe, in every corner of the earth, in the spirit realm, in the earthly realm. Even the angels heard it. you to say yes aloud to these questions and statements. You must welcome these things into your life and you must say yes to them. You are ready for your soulmate. You want to call in your soulmate. You ask your higher source to put you in place, in action, and in all ways, to bring in the right person for you, for the right time, for the right lessons, for everything you need, everything you think you need, or something better. Say yes. And now, it is done. And it's time for you to come back back to this realm to follow my voice back down the mountain and we're going from 10,000 feet right to the top of the mountain you can see the snow underneath your spirit's feet and we're going back down the mountain and you can see the world the world that you came from the physical world at the bottom of this mountain you can see yourself lying on your bed or sitting in your couch or doing whatever you're doing you can see yourself and I want you to go 9,000 feet. You just glide that 1,000 feet. We glide back down. 
the same way as we did on the way back up. And we're going back, 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 8,000 feet or 8,000 feet away from your physical self and 7,000. Each great leap, each great bounding leap, pulling you back down to the physical realm. And 6,000 feet, another great leap, five, and we're halfway there now. And you're half distance between the physical world where you left your body and the top of the entire universe. And 4,000 feet, one more great leap. 3,000 and with each leap you can feel yourself waking up becoming more and more human stepping back slowly back into the physical realm back into your human form and 2,000 feet you're nearly there now and you can begin to feel that you are stepping back into the physical realm 2, 1, 0 and you're back in your body where you left it, on your bed, on your couch, relaxing, as if you've just come back from a lovely dream. But it wasn't a dream. You're learning to journey. You're learning to sit. And I would like you to use this meditation every single night for at least seven nights. And experience it, feel it. I used this meditation for years and it called in all the partners that brought me to where I am now. This meditation is profound. Believe in it. Believe in your power. Believe in the fact that your spirit body and your higher source knows what is right for you, who is right for you, and when is right for you. Trust in these powers. Use this meditation as often as you like. Envision it. See it. Manifest it. You're going to love your soulmate. And if you'd like to get up and go and do anything now, you're going to have all the energy you need to be able to do it. But if you'd like to fall asleep, then just listen to the music. Remember to focus on your breath and just relax into sleep. Thank you for listening. I'm Laura from Laura of Attraction Life Coaching, and I love you all. <laughs>